Let's see what zodiac signs are the most likely to fall in love in 2024, starting with Aries. Spirit, who uh, is mm, <laughs> spirit? Is Aries going to fall in love in 2024? Is Aries going to fall in love in 2024? Is Aries going to fall in love this year? The Hermit. Clever the Hermit. You know what? I said this before. I really feel like a lot of y'all are going to kind of not be so focused on love this year. Clarify the Hermit. I think it's more so, I do see falling in love with yourself. I do see that. Clarify the Hermit. There's a lot of solitude that's going to happen for you this year. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Reverse. You know what? I really feel like this is more self-love though. Like So yes, but I don't see it with another person. Clarify the Hermit. I, I, if you if you didn't see the other read, you definitely um, have a lot of money coming in. You, um, you, I would watch the reading before this one. Okay, Page of Cups. Mm. I want to say this is a lot of like inner child love. It's, it gives it does give self love. What is the Hermit? Five of Swords. I think something recently happened with you and external people that are making you want to go into hermit mode for some of you. Some of you, you just kind of want to. And I see you falling in love with yourself there. I don't really see much else. Clarify Five of Swords. Yeah, some of you may have had some kind of family drama. If not family, this could be someone that you've just known for a very long time, someone you have a long history with. You may have had some drama and maybe a fallout or something along those lines where you may have left the situation feeling defeated. And I see a lot of you going into hermit mode. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Detaching yourself from those people and situations. It feels like self. Clarify justice. King of Cups reverse. Clarify Page of Cups. Nine of Swords. I get, I get inner child wounds and inner child, heal, inner child healing that a lot of you are going to be trying to do as well. Why the Hermit? Clarify Seven of Cups. Dare I say some of y'all actually might have someone try to come towards you while you're in Hermit mode, trying to make things right with them. I don't think you're going to take it though. I really don't. So as for if you yeah. If you're going to, I don't see you falling in love. I think some of you, if you just got out of a relationship, n not even in the recent past, if you got out of a relationship a while ago and it's still affecting you in some way, shape, or form, I see you not focus on love because you're wanting to detach from that situation still. Some of you possibly, that particular person is someone who might c approach you, might come towards you, and maybe kind of disturb your peace while you're in hermit mode. But other than that, I don't see you falling in love with this person or anybody new or anything like that, okay? So I'd watch your other placements, watch your uh, moon and rising, so, um, your Venus as well for some of you, okay? This is going to be a fairly short reading today because it's, it's really, it's a yes or no question. So we're going to go ahead and move on to Taurus. This person you were dealing with could have been a Libra, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer, or a Pisces, okay? But yeah, Aries keeps pulling this energy of like loner doing their own thing, not really bothering nobody, don't want nobody, nobody bothering them. Is that's it? Y'all been giving that like for last week and a half almost. All right, spirit for Taurus. Is Taurus falling in love in 2024? Is Taurus going to be falling in love in 2024? Reverse the star. It's possible. I see you being. I see you having hope. Clap on the star. Clarify reverse. Shit. Justice reverse. Clap on the star. I see you being optimistic about a situation that went sour with you and someone. Clap on the star. The star. Strength. Got all majors the star, the justice, the sun, the strength. Clarify justice reverse temperance. You have a little major cards coming out. Clarify the sun. 
another major. You don't have any minor arcana out here. The star, the justice, the sun, strength, tempers, and tower. Clarify strength. Four of pentacles. <laughs> All right. Um, the world at the bottom. And death. What is the star? I don't. What is the star? This could be a yes or a no. You had nothing but majors. Ace of swords. Majors means it, it can mean a lot, like a lot of different things. So putting them all together, I'm not getting much detail. I'm getting big, big energy, big stories, but I'm not getting details, if that makes sense. Clarify Ace of swords. Is this a yes or no? Because I'm not getting, is this a yes or no? I want to say yes and no. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think someone's coming toward you, but I think no. For are you falling in love? Why the star? I think it's trying to say something else. Why the star? No, you're healing. That's what I thought. Okay. So, there is somebody coming toward you that, I get a runner chaser. I see a runner chaser dynamic here. There is somebody who wronged you and you've accepted it. Are you falling in love? No. I, but I do see you learning the truth about somebody. Uh, if you if you haven't already, you will. And you will heal from that and gain your power and confidence and strength back from that situation after something becomes very clear to you in a very dramatic way. Clarify three swords of verse. Are you falling in love with anybody? No, and it's because you're healing right now. Clarify three swords of verse. Yeah. You are emotionally and mentally letting something go. You are successfully letting something go that bothered you, that had you burdened and triggered. And this kind of goes with the Aries reads. Some of y'all have someone that, that is the exact same person is going to be trying to run toward you, trying to chase you, and I see you trying to escape and run from them. The closer they try to get to you, the faster you run. And it's because you're trying to protect yourself. Will they fall in love with anybody though this year? For uh, Taurus. That was at the bottom of the deck, too. The world and the death. The hermit at the bottom? I don't think so. Not this year. I don't see you falling in love. Not really. Yeah. You're closing a chapter right now. In 2024, you'll be closing a chapter. Clarify the world. You'll be... You'll be, you'll be trying to have some kind of closure, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be closing a, a chapter you started not too long ago with someone, maybe an earth sign. Um, but I see you taking your power back. That's what I do see, okay? I see money being very good for you too. A lot of money coming in for you this year. This really is a year of money. I haven't been pulling very successful love cards, really. It's only a handful of people that's really getting love messages for real. And it, it's like, but money, money is amazing this year for a lot of people, okay? But yeah, for this read... I'm not to say no, I don't see you falling in love, okay? That doesn't mean someone's not gonna fall in love with you, but I don't see you falling in love with anybody in particular, okay? The person you could be healing from could be an Aquarius, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sag, or Gemini. Okay. Spirit for Gemini. Will Gemini be falling in love with anyone in 2024? Will Gemini be falling in love with anyone in 2024? Five of Swords. Clarify Five of Swords. Okay, reverse. Okay, reverse. One more. Nine of Wands reverse. I see you throwing in a towel. Clear my five of swords. I see you throwing in the towel when it comes to either your love life specifically or a particular person. I think it's a person. Clear my five of swords. I don't think it's your entire love life where you're doing this. Oh, it might be. Might be. That is coming up a lot. That is coming up a lot. Y'all are the third the third sign in a row. Who where love there's no don't no love here. What is the five of swords? I see a situation. What is the five of swords? The reads are coming out real clear though. What is the five of swords? I see a lot of y'all findings. I see more fallouts in the near future for majority of the collective. No matter what zodiac sign you are. Clarify, it's the swords. 
I see fallout more than anything this year. Upright or reverse? One more. What I'm seeing here for you, Gemini, yeah. But I, I, literally, as I say, I see more fallout. You get the card of a friend group falling out um, or a relationship or a couple ship. I see more people falling out. I see you finding something out about somebody who's in your inner circle who you maybe I feel like adored. And I feel like you come right now or in the near future are going to continuously try to uh, have some kind of connection with them. This could be a friend. Okay, or somebody you're trying to, you're, someone you're seeing. Um, but I see something here with some kind of sabotage. I also see, I see a, maybe a third party might sabotage something for you. But I see you in this energy of giving up. None, nonetheless, I see you in this energy of giving up on a particular person because of some sort of jealousy or sabotage or gossip, third party situation, whether it's a friend another lover, an ex, a job, whatever, whatever the third party situation is, something gets in between the two of you. Um, you and someone you may be talking to now or we're talking to, some of you this has already happened. Uh, but I see you giving up officially and fully to free yourself from the situation and the drama to hermit yourself and detach from society. Clarify nine on one reverse. But this has come up a lot for everybody. Yep. I see you being like, yeah, you're. I heard... You'll never take my power. It's giving you a never take my power. You are going to move forward and detach yourself from these people to keep yourself sane, basically. Clarify the fool. Freeing yourself from the past. Taking, mm, yeah. Yeah. I see you leaving the past behind. For some reason, this fool feels like you're leaving the past and the past people behind. Clarify the hermit. Clarify the hermit. <laughs> Keep talking about power. Clarify the hermit. You might be, be you might be detaching from a fire sign, for specifically. Clarify the hermit. Yeah, you might be leaving. You might be detaching from someone who causes chaos and catastrophe and drama. You might be leaving something before something gets worse. Why five of swords? As for if you're falling in love with anyone, no. As for right now, clarify the Ace of Pentacles. You may also have new opportunities come your way as well. Definitely a job or a raise here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. This could be, again, it could be a new job or a raise. But there's new opportunities coming your way, and that's why you're going to detach from this situation. But as for if you're falling in love with anyone, mm -mm. no, I, you're not really worried about love this year. Okay, but yeah, uh, for a lot of you, for most most of society, I'm seeing more people falling out with people than coming together right on um, this year. So, um, but yeah, this person in this read could be a Virgo, a Libra, an Aries, an Aquarius, a Leo, a Scorpio, Cancer, or a Capricorn. Okay. Ooh. I know y'all gonna hate me for this read because ain't nothing coming out for real. Maybe I need to do a money read. I might need to do a money read because that's all that's coming up for everyone's time. All right, Spirit for Cancer. Is Cancer falling in love with anyone this year in 2024? Is Cancer falling in love with anyone this year in 2024? Three of Wands. Clap out three of Wands. King of Swords. Clap out three of Wands. Ten of Swords, clarify three of Wands. King of Cups. That could be a yes, or you are waiting for this King of Cups. Let me see, clarify the King of Swords. This, for some reason, this could be a yes. Clarify King of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Clarify Ten of Swords? This might be a yeah. Mm-hmm. Ten of Pentacles, clarify King of Cups. The Nine of Pentacles and Five of Wands reverse. I think you're going to be. What is the Red Wands? Clarify King of Wands. 
the, the three of wands is what's getting me the most because it's is this a yes is this a yes I think you're waiting I think this is a no I think you're waiting I think some of you are focused on a particular person you are no longer connecting with waiting or it waiting and or expecting someone to take um, bold action toward you to treat you as you deserve you want to come out of some kind of a problematic situation with them some kind of drama the two of you may fa may have faced already and I feel like there is a no contact situation because of this drama and I feel like you're waiting and or expecting someone for someone to come and reach out to you in a very loving, non-problematic way and treat you the way you deserve. Why three of wands? So I don't see, why three of wands? Cause y'all are in a no contact situation. There's no speaking, there's silence and there's, clarify the high priestess. Yeah, there's silence. I think you're waiting on, clarify the high priestess. Some kind of disaster, some kind of breakup, separation, or ending, explosion, whatever case may be, caused y'all to not be on speaking terms. And I feel like you're waiting on this person to reach out. So are they falling in love this year? Is Cancer falling in love this year with this particular person again? I see waiting. Right now? Okay. Is that technically, is that a yes or no? I'm gonna say no, only because, why is because you're waiting on someone that you're not speaking to. You're waiting on someone that you're, you have a lot of history with, known them for years. Some of you may have children with them. You could have been married to them for some of you. Um, but I even went, you know what, I'm also picking up that even before the silence started, there was very little communication or not the most helpful communication and then it just ends and I think you're waiting for this person to make some kind of emotional gesture so as for if you're falling in love this year I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I wouldn't say you're avoiding it clarify seven of swords yeah for a lot of you, this has actually fully ended, but your energy is still stuck on something that's done. So you're kind of avoiding the healing process, which is kind of, I would say, slowing down the next person, the energy of the next person trying to come in because of this energy that you are going to be in. Clarify seven of swords. You're kind of avoiding falling in love with someone. I don't know, either purposely or just, you know, just because. I think, I don't know, I don't know if it's on purpose, but I think you're avoiding consciously or subconsciously in some kind of way. Um, you're avoiding falling in love with someone because you're still attached to somebody else. Okay. So I'm going to say no, but this is why. Okay. Yours is a little different. Yours is a no because of something else. Okay. Um, this person could be an Aries, Sag, Cancer, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Scorpio. But I, and on top of that, I see you kind of holding your breath. I wouldn't. I don't know why, but something doesn't feel like they're going to reach out. So be cautious about that. Okay. Something about that seems final to me I, I believe something about that seems kind of final if they reach out then great but something about that with that ten of swords that's kind of final okay uh so allow yourself to you know get to new, get to know more people and allow yourself to try to fall in love and you know all that good stuff okay all right for leo spirit for leo will leo be falling in love with anyone in the year 2024 will leo be falling in love with anyone three of swords why is everybody getting a no Everyone got to know. Clear out three of swords. Three of pentacles. I'll find the reverse. 
Justice. Nine of Pentacles, King of Cups. Why? What is Three of Swords? Mm -mm. I see everyone's a hermit. Clarify the hermit. What, ha what happened? So everybody's reads. Seven of Pentacles. I see a lot of you doing self-reflection. Wow. Maybe I should pick a different topic. <laughs> I probably shouldn't pick a different topic. But it's, a, it's, the first, it's the first day of February. It is the first day of February. It is what? 8.20 something in the morning. <laughs> Um, one of February 1st, the day, the month of love, clap out three of pentacles. Why, why three of swords? Why are they not falling in love this year? I said a lot of fallouts. This might be a, a year of drama. I'm not even gonna hold y'all. Clap out five of swords. I'm not gonna hold y'all. This might be a year of drama. Up right reverse. Justice. If anything, for some of y'all, I see some of y'all getting your heart broken. Unfortunately, I hate to say that. I really do, cause you know, I that's not what I would would want to hear either. But this is what's coming up in the reads. I have to say it. It looks like everyone's falling out with somebody this year. For you, why no? Why you're not falling in love this year is because you're heartbroken about something else you're still sulking over. And why is because of some type of sabotage is what I'm getting. Some kind of form of clarify five of swords. Three of wands. What exactly is the five of swords here with this emperor? What exactly is the five of swords? I want to say somebody's selfish energy. Someone only thinking of themselves is what sabotages something for you and them. This is another person here. I just don't see it working with that person. Uh, this person could be a Taurus or Libra, uh, Scorpio, Lib uh, Libra, Aries, Gemini, or Virgo. Um, but there's something here about someone kind of only focused on their needs and wants and desires, like and only seeing that, and that sabotages the two of you somehow. Clarify nine of Pentacles. Six of Cups, clarify King Cups. I see you, I don't see you falling in love, but I see you staying in love with someone. I see you staying in love with someone. Someone who's very attractive and fairly abundant, but they have this side to them that where like the only thing around them that matters is them. For a good bit of you, there's someone who you had a, had a good thing with. Y'all had a really good thing with this person. Things were, y'all were on the same page. Things were powerful. The two of you were like clicking. Everything was great. And some of you, this could, that could have been a reconnection as well. Both of you having the confidence to reconnect and know and like put in the energy towards creating something together. But it falls flat somehow. I feel like I'm missing. There's a gap in the read. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. I just see somebody going another direction. I just see somebody going another way. You go on your own. And I don't I don't know where they go. I think they go on their own too. Clarify the Hermit. Yeah, you. I see you reflecting on the heartbreak. Or break up. For some of you. Page of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah. One of you could attempt could have uh, attempted to have some kind of friendship or something after that. And then either got ghosted or you ghosted. Someone, I, I get one of you tried to fix something. One of you tried to be a friend. And the other one didn't receive the message or lock somebody out. It's almost like a, a kid at the front door trying to sell you a box of chocolate. And you close the door in that person's face. That happened to one of you. Um, 
Oh yeah, no, are, are you going to fall in love this year? No, it is because your heart is still with this situation, okay? And don't feel bad because I'm, I'm pulling, I literally pulled that for everybody so far in this entire video, okay? Um, five zodiac sign straight. Except Aries. Aries is the only one that don't have nobody on their mind in particular, I believe. I think it was Aries that didn't have nobody on their mind, but everyone else had this read. Everyone has this read right now, so. Um, this person could be a Virgo. Capricorn, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. All right. Yeah, I, put, I should have picked a different topic. I'm sorry. Uh, Spirit for Virgo. Spirit, is Virgo going to be falling in love in 2024? Is Virgo going to be falling in love in 2024? Page of Wands. That's the only positive card we have so far. Clarify Page of Wands. The magician. Clarify the page of wands. Virgo, you, you Virgo, you are the only one who has a positive um, read so far. Out of the six zodiac signs so far, you're the only one with a positive read. Clarify page of wands. The world. I don't see you falling in love, but I do see you dating, possibly somebody new. What is the page of wands? Something that comes out of nowhere. This is a this is gonna be a shock to you. Clarify the tower. Y'all might meet in a very dramatic way. Y'all might get introduced. Somebody, someone might introduce you to this person. For some of you, clarify magician. Some of y'all are uh, successfully. Excuse me. Some of y'all successfully manifesting love soon. Okay. Clarify six of pentacles. Some of you may be dating at least two people for some of you. It could be seeing two people, talking to two people. If not, I just see you trying to kind of, um, take, how do I get, how do I put this? Get a feel for this person. I see you trying to get a feel for this person. I see someone trying to approach you and I see this person piquing your interest and you flirting with them. And I see them trying to court you and trying to date you and you are interested. You're excited. This person excites you real bad. And I see you trying to weigh out whether you want to deal with them or not for real. But I see you being open to receiving and giving and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's a done deal from there with the world. Clarify the world. As for if you're falling in love, this looks... You're closer than most people right now. Up right over it. To the two of swords. Okay. But is are, are they going to fall in love with this person? For Virgo, are they going to fall in love with this person? Up right reverse. It's possible. Five of Swords reverse. That has been coming up for everyone. Clear by Five of Swords reverse. This could be someone you already know, by the way. For some of you, this could be you um, having some sort of peace with someone as well. Clear by Five of Swords reverse. Someone could be apologizing and things get more stable, more grounded. Yeah, this could be a healing session you have with someone that you already are aware of. Some of you is brand new. Why page of wands? As far as you're falling in love, I don't see falling in love. I just see a better situation for you and someone here. Why page of wands? Because you're going to be interested. To a certain degree. I see you being interested to a certain degree. I see you hearing someone out. I keep hearing, I, get, I keep getting hearing someone out. I think it's the way that approach, I think this, it's the way that this person approaches you that's Makes you be like, okay, let me hear you. Let me hear them out. I think I got that for y'all before, not too long ago as well. But yeah, are you gonna fall in love? I don't think so. But y'all read is the best one so far. <laughs> y'all have the best read so far, and it looks good. If it's someone from your past, there will be some kind of successful closure that ends off on a very beautiful, positive note. Okay, uh, if this is somebody brand new, this is the start of a new chapter. Okay, all right. This person could be a Scorpio, a Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries, a Gemini, a Pisces, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, any air sign, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, and Sagittarius. Okay. All right, Spirit for Libra. Spirit, is Libra falling in love with anybody in 2024? Is Libra falling in love with anyone in 2024? Y'all too. Y'all have somebody y'all going to be talking to. Clarify three of pentacles. Uh -oh. 
Remember when there was the full reverse. Claire brought three of pentacles. The tower. Claire brought three of pentacles. To the sun. I got the song stuck on my head. I think I think it's I think I started hearing it on your read. Um Energy by Beyonce. Specifically the part where he says, um, on stage, rockin' I'm still crazy, Coco full of 1980s, come lift to the drop lazy, none of that may be energy. But I keep hearing it on a loop, and I'm like, okay, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> um, anyway, what is the Ray Pentacles? For are you falling in love this year? I see you being afraid to. I see you being afraid to. I see you feeling like you're, is going, something's going to end up in a disaster, but I do see you talking to someone that you want to get to know better and that you're inter interested in. You're interested in getting to know. Clarify page of swords. I see you being afraid. Yeah, I see you looking out. I see you watching your back trying to look out for a possible fallout or something going wrong. You're looking toward, you're looking as if something is going to go wrong. Clarify the full reverse. I think you end up being pleasantly surprised that it doesn't. Clarify the full reverse. Yeah, a lot of y'all are like trying to tiptoe through the tulips with this one. Y'all are moving as slow as y'all possibly can. Y'all are not taking no risks. Whatever happened to y'all in the recent past or in the distant past, y'all are like, okay, yeah, that's, that situation had me messed up as it is. I am not taking another leap of faith with, this, with another person. Some of you just could be the same person. But I see you being terrified of something. Clarify the tower. But like trying to be optimistic and open to. Yeah, clarify the sun. Are you going to fall in love? Possibly, actually. Is this a guess? No, you're gonna, okay. Hmm. Yeah, in a way. Four of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, I'm gonna say yes. Clever Four of Pentacles reverse. I see you letting your guard down so that you can. Clever Four of Pentacles reverse. Clever Four of Pentacles reverse. I see you having hope because of how something goes. Okay, yeah, Libra, Libra, Libra. I actually want to say yes for this. I want to say yes because I want to say this is someone here where you're going to be feeling them out, getting to know them. Some of you, if it's a bad person, you're getting to know them all over again. But I really want to say this is brand new because I see a lot of y'all being scared getting to know somebody. So it feels new when, you, when it comes to getting to know them. And... You're expecting disaster. You end up being pleasantly surprised that disaster does not happen and things get very positive and hopeful and ha like peaceful and happy. And I think I don't think you expect that. You expect the worst and the best actually happens. What I think happens is I think this person shares their feelings for you and then they and you end up letting your guard down and allowing yourself to have hope to fall in love with this person and the two of you end up matching feelings. So you're able to be comfortable around them. I see you gaining, I see you going from being terrified to being a little scared to being like, you know, I kind of like this person. Now that they say something to confirm their feelings for you and you let your guard down and you move forward, okay? So are you falling in love? I'm gonna say yes. And I think you're gonna let them know that. I think you're gonna talk to them for, I think there's a conversation that's very important that the two of you are going to have that makes you kind of have hope and fall in love. And I think this is you letting your guard down and letting them know that too. Okay. Um, so are you falling in love? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Um, clarify the sun. And you'll be happy to know that this person is going to feel the same way about you. Yeah. Yeah. You'll, you'll be a lot more open to receiving. Okay. Yeah. This person's changing your mind and changing your point of view on your love life. Listen, I get another chance in love for you. I definitely do. I definitely do. Okay. This person could be an Aquarius, another Libra, a Capricorn, a Leo, a Pisces, a Scorpio, an Aries, a, Vir or a Virgo, Aquarius. Okay. All right, Spirit, for uh, Scorpio. Spirit, will Scorpios be falling in love this year in 2024? Will Scorpios be falling in love this year in 2024? The Ace of Pentacles. Why everybody, why the last half of the Zodiac got all the positive reads? 
The first half of the zodiac is like, like a no, and the last half is like, yeah. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Y'all have somebody coming towards you. You have a new, you have a, um, a new beginning here. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. <laughs> okay, you don't like them. You don't want them. Clarify Ace of Pentacles. But you can't get your mind off of them either. You'll reject them on the outside, but on the inside, you'll kind of be thinking about them all the time. Clarify Knight of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Clarify Four of Cups. Yeah, you're like, this tower card. You, will you be falling in love? No. And it's because you are not interested in anything going to shit. <laughs> Clarify the Eight of Swords. Someone's coming in wanting to have some, yeah. I see you having a what if kind of moment, but like, what if this could be happy? What I see you, there is somebody coming towards you who may be very exciting, likes to travel. They're very uh, attractive and friendly, and they're coming in very friendly, but I think you're looking for a particular thing. And with this person coming in, I, maybe you already know them. Maybe that's maybe you don't trust them. Maybe that's why you're rejecting them. But I see you rejecting them because you you feel you're also, by rejecting them, you're rejecting a tower moment. You're rejecting disaster or catastrophe or breakup um, to possibly happen. But when, why, after you do that, you kind of are going to be sitting in your head like, okay, what if this could have been really good? What if, you know, I could have been really happy? What is Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, I see something being offered to you, but I don't see you taking it. So I don't see in the beginning. What is Ace of Pentacles? The Empress. Clarify the Empress. One more time. Why is the pentacles? Three aces. Clarify ace of cups. I dare I say, dare I say you might be missing an opportunity here. What is this, uh what is this person's intentions towards Scorpio? You might be missing an opportunity. Clarify King of Cups. Let's see. Clarify King of Cups. Ooh, I wouldn't turn this person down. The person that takes towards you is to fall in love with you and have a long-term relationship with you. Um, this is also, King of Cups is also a family man. Family man, family woman. Someone who wants marriage and kids and all that kind of stuff. Because when the, when the Empress came out for what is the Ace of Pentacles, it felt like an offer fit for Emperor or Empress. But with the Ace of Swords reverse, I don't think you can see that. I think that's not clear to you. Hmm. That's why you're going to be in your head like, what if, what if this, what if that? You're going to think that because of, this person is genuine. This person does want to fall in love with you and, you know, do right by you. What's their advice? What sh should they entertain this person? Should Scorpio... Entertain this person and then get to know them and all this kind of good stuff. Should Scorpio give this person a chance? Reverse. Four of Swords Reverse talks about coming out of your comfort zone. So I would say, yeah. Clarify the Four of Swords Reverse. Reverse. Yeah, do something you haven't been doing right now. Clarify Four of Swords Reverse. You're being told to choose faith and hope over uh, fear right now, okay? Will you be falling in love? If you take this advice, yeah. You and someone will fall in love, okay? Clarify four swords reverse. Child, you'll be pleasantly surprised on the other end of that fear. On the other end of fear is hope. You'll be pleasantly surprised on the other end. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. Do, you know, don't stay in your comfort zone or you're going to miss the opportunity real bad, okay? This person's intentions is to fall in love with you and stay with you then if not for a lifetime they they this is someone who wants a relationship who wants to commit who wants to give their heart to someone who knows how to love who knows how to do that don't miss that okay this person could be a pisces cancer scorpio strong scorpio 
Um, blah, 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 blah. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Sag, Aquarius, Taurus, Libra. You have three aces here, so you had you could have, and they could have uh, air, earth, and water in their chart. Sag was also there as well. All right. Spirit for Sagittarius. Will Sagittarius be falling in love with anyone in the year of 2024? Will Sagittarius be falling in love with anyone? No. Y'all got the same thing uh, Aries got. Clarify the Hermit. Uh, everybody got the Hermit, actually. Clarify the Hermit. Clarify the Hermit. I see you reflecting on your feelings you may already have for someone. Yeah. I see you having hope, though. That you will. Clever the hermit. A lot of you want to. You want to, but a lot of you may not leave the house um, this year. Not, not, you know, a lot of you may not go out much this year. What's the hermit? Yeah, a lot of you are kind of uh, on the bench when it comes to love. Clarify four swords. Either because of someone you're already in love with. Or because, yeah, a lot of y'all took a, mm, clarify four swords. You're taking a break from putting yourself out there. Yeah, you, I feel like you just were putting yourself out there trying to date and be open to getting to know people. And I think you are doing something new right now where you are sitting down, you're on the bench now. Water Hermit. I'll fight Rivers. I'll fight Rivers. One more time. Because you're, you're reflecting on something else. I think you're still stuck on something else. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. You also, this, if this is not you being stuck on something else, this is you having unnecessary worry. I think you're reflecting on something else. Something you were trying to build with someone else. Clarify Queen of Cups. Someone you were in a relationship with, because you have the King and Queen of Cups here. Clarify like Queen of Cups. Some of y'all may still have hope for that situation. So are you falling in love? I'm going to say no, only because some of y'all might already be in love. Clarify like the Star. Yeah, I see, I see you being... I see some of y'all, like your point of view right now is that you still see something being able to turn around in a positive direction for you and this person. Which is beautiful. Um, clarify to ooh, where my lip go? Clarify two of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. You have years of history with someone that you know loves you, that you know you love them. Some of y'all are really wanting to still invest. Excuse me, invest in someone. To get to a goal that you wanted for the two of you. Can I find two of Pentacles? I just see you having a hopeful heart. Can I find two of Pentacles? It's beautiful though. It's sweet. I'm going to see where this goes for you. Um, yeah. Will Sad and this person get back together in 2024? Unfortunately not. For some of you, that might be completely over. Clarify Five of Cups. I see you being disappointed. Clarify Five of Cups. It is Swords. Yeah, don't stay stuck on the on things from the past too long, Sad. Clarify Five of Cups. It's beautiful, you know, to feel these ways. But you don't want to block anything from being able to come in, okay? So if you want to fall in love with anyone this year, you want someone to fall in love with you and things of that nature, I would go back to how you were before. A lot of you were just, you know, putting yourself out there. Some of you just could be like dating sites and like maybe going out to restaurants and, you know, being seen. I feel like a lot of you were being seen. And I feel if, you know, if you want something to happen for you, I would go back to doing that, okay? Because you going into hermit mode, you're going to have a hard time 
you know, finding someone, okay, from, you know, from the house. Uh, as for the two of you getting back together, I, I'm going to say no, unfortunately. I don't know why, but it, for uh, it's going to be different reasons for everyone, so I'm not going to go too deep into detail, but for most of you, I see a no. So uh, I would try not to say stuck on that person because you don't want to be stuck in that time period. You, know, you don't want to be stuck in that, you know. Yeah. All right. Um, but for right now, I see you just kind of distancing yourself from society altogether. Okay. Um, a similar read that Aries all the way through Leo got to. All right. Uh, this could be a Scorpio, an Aries, an Aquarius, a Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo that you have probably have been stuck on. Okay. All right. So we have for Capricorn. Will Capricorn be falling in love with anyone this year in this in 2024? Will Capricorn be falling in love with anyone in 2024? Y'all the first one that got the Wheel of Fortune. That kind of gives like it's up in the air. It's also a, like a calendar card up right over. The Wheel of Fortune. It could also be a big yes. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. It could also be a no, but it could also just be it's up in the air. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles, clarify Queen of um, Queen of Fortune, clarify Queen of Fortune. For some reason, I knew that magician was gonna come out. It just felt like it was, it fit this read. Clarify Queen of Fortune, Two of Pentacles, clarify Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is you. I see a lot of y'all focus on. I see a lot of y'all focused on work. Clarify magician. I see money. I see two jobs for some of you. Y'all are manifesting riches. Y'all are manifesting wealth and abundance. And I don't normally say riches, but damn. Y'all have nothing but money cards. Hold on one second. I need y'all to see what I'm talking about. I need y'all to see this. Capricorn. This is a good year to be a Capricorn. Look at all this money. Wheel of Fortune is like a lottery win. Okay, for some of you. Yeah, this is just good luck, like a lot of good luck and fortune. Y'all seeing Wheel of Fortune. But King and King of Coins, Queen of Coins, hard work, and Ten of Pentacles will be riches. Y'all have a lot of good stuff coming in. Wow. Yeah, I see you being too busy for love, really. Some of you can be self-employed and working your asses off right now. Clarify Two of Pentacles. You don't have to be self-employed. Some of you can be moving up some kind of corporate ladder to a, a position of power. Some of y'all have two jobs. Some of y'all are going to have a main job and a side uh, side hustle. Okay, I, I see you being busy. I, I don't really see love. What is the Wheel of Fortune? I just see pentacles all around here. Mm, some of you can find love too. Some of y'all can have it all. Clap I can't cut. Y'all won't have time though. Y'all won't have time, but y'all you can try. Yeah, someone may be trying to date you. Some of you could already be dating this person for some of you, but um, why the Wheel of Fortune? Cause you're on top right now. Just things are just flowing to you right now. Clever six of wands. Just a cheap, yeah. I also see because you 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 surrendered from something and overcame something from the past. Clever six of wands. Feels like surrender and achieving. You your point of view changed about something about what. You not being interested in somebody or something. Your point of view, I don't know who that is. I think it's an ex. Clarify four of cups. About what they what their point of view. Yeah. There's something there's somebody or something that you're blocking off. And I think you're just realizing how badly you want that thing or person to stay away from you. And I think that's what your mind changes to. And because of that, you're able to overcome that problem or that person or situation. Okay. Anyway, um, is this person, is Capricorn going to be falling in love with this King of Cups here? I would say, yeah. Could I have a Knight of Cups? You also have somebody coming in, yeah. Child, yeah. I see you loving their energy. I see, first of all, this person is going to be fine as hell. You are going to find this person so sexually attractive. You are going to adore 
how they court you in a way. You're gonna like the energy that they give. They kind of give like big energy, okay? Somebody who's de like, not demanding, what's, it? what's the right word? They are passionate, they are dominating. Dominating is what I'm trying to say, but they also have a soft side. They have this passionate, fiery, like masculine side to them, uh, for the one that dropped the men. Uh, but you know, men, men, women too, but they have this like masculine side to them that you're going to find very attractive. Okay. And it's going to kind of draw you in and you're going to want to open up to them fairly easily. You're going to feel very comfortable with them too. And you're going to like how, how consistent they are and how confident they are in expressing, not confident, uh, comfortable they are with expressing their emotional feelings. Okay. Something here about them speaking their mind and speaking from their hearts. That you're gonna really love and appreciate and you're gonna want to do the same thing but see on top of that I see I'm being real busy with work so try to find that balance I see a lot of you struggling to find a balance between both um, but with love and money and a job but yeah are you falling in love this year I'm gonna say yes and it's because of how they treat you it's their it's the actions they take and the things that they say they're also a, a, an amazing advice giver, an amazing listener. They give therapist vibes, okay? They, this person could be an actual therapist or some sort of doctor or some sort of like healer in some way, shape or form, but they are, the, whoever this person whoever this person is, is that guy or that girl, okay? And they're going to fall for you deeply. I see you falling in love with them slower than they fall in love with you. I think they fall for you fairly quickly. And I think they fall in love with your independence and it makes them want to kind of spoil you and kind of give to you and be generous to you more, okay? So it gives that. It looks nice. This person you're falling in love with, it could be a Scorpio, Taurus, another Capricorn for some of you. I think that, I think that was just you. Um, Aries, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Okay. I have spirit for Aquarius. Spirit is cows. Aquarius falling in love with anyone in the year of 2024. Will Aquarius be falling in love with anyone in the year of 2024? Upright reverse. Y'all the only ones that got this, like, I don't know card. Upright reverse. More. Two of Pentacles. Clarify Two of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles, clarify two of Pentacles. Six of Wands, clarify two of Pentacles. I think that's a yes. I think you're gonna be in this, like, what's it called, pros and cons. You're gonna do kind of do a, like a mental pros and cons list and take your time with someone here. And the more you do, the more you wanna go after them or the more you want to hear them out or listen to them or Whatever this is, the more you want to connect with them. Clarify my Knight of Pentacles. That's what I feel like it's trying to say. I probably love it. Yeah, a lot of you are taking your time because maybe of another ending. This could be someone you ended things with. I gotta see who this is, but I see in the beginning you're taking your time. One of you taking their time. I think it's I think it's you. It could be them, but I see one of you being like moving real slow. Okay, because of a recent patch up for their heart first someone's heartbreak okay clarify six of wands someone is just getting over something and then successfully gets over it and then they're able to like run towards this person now clarify knight of swords it could be the other person so take it with a grain of salt yeah someone's gonna be wanting a relationship and wanting to fall in love after they successfully get over something that hurt them what is Two of Pentacles? Someone's getting over a breakup here. What is Two of Pentacles? I think you're gonna go like work well with this person. Clarify Three of Pentacles. You might meet them in like school or work or some um, professional setting, where there's a student, student or a teacher or a boss or some kind of professional building or a setting. A pair reverse. The moon reverse. I see both people's I see you and this person's intentions being pretty good. Yeah. Why two of pentacles? 
You might also have two people coming in. Jeez, I probably reverse. This is everybody's why card. Seven of Pentacles, all this unnecessary worry for everyone. Clarify Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. So will Aquarius be falling in love with this person in 2024? I wouldn't say yes, but you are optimistic. You are more open to it than you will be. Clarify three of wands. You're going to be more optimistic about it than you probably are now. Clarify three of wands. Yeah, you're open to it. Clarify three of wands. I'm not going to say definitely yes, but you're definitely open to it. Is this someone new or someone from their past? I think it's new. I think it's... Hmm. Clef on the lovers. Seven of cups and a page of pentacles. I still want to say some of y'all got a few people coming in. Some of y'all y'all know them, some of y'all y'all don't. It's it could take it. I can take that either way. Lovers is definitely someone you know, I feel. Page of Pentacles could be someone new. So take it as it resonates. But it's def it could it's definitely your story if you move very, very slow with them at first because of you still trying to get over something or just got over something. And then when you fully do, you're going to want to get to know them more and really go after this. Or they are. This could be them, by the way. The one that's going, that's moving slow and going through heartbreak. It could be them doing this. And so you might be like, I don't know about this because they just got out of something. So you might be in this, you might be doing this pros and cons thing with this person's character or the way they love or them in general. You could be doing this pros and cons list because... They are getting something, getting out of something and maybe need some time to get to know you a little more than you might need to get to know them. So, yeah. So, y'all not moving the same pace in the very beginning, okay? But I see y'all kind of aligning at some point. But I do see things being rocky in the beginning. So, if that resonates with you, this is your read, okay? It's, as for if this is a brand new person or a past person you already know, take it as it resonates. It is, it's going to resonate differently for everyone anyway. So, the story itself is... Y'all are going to be off for a little bit and then y'all meet in the middle, okay? And then things take off from there successfully, okay? This person could be a Gemini, a Capricorn, an Aries, a Cancer, a Virgo, Gemini, Cancer, Libra, Sag, Aries, Aquarius, okay? All right, Spirit for Pisces. Spirit, is Pisces going to be falling in love with anyone in the year of 2024? Is Pisces going to be falling in love with anyone in the year of 2024? Ooh, possibly. With someone who's very attractive. Clarify the King of Wands. <laughs> the, the Hermit and the Tower. Someone will be approaching you. It's almost like someone comes up behind you and is like, taps you on the shoulder, like real aggressive, like, hey. Trying to get your attention and you're trying your hardest to stay to yourself with this hermit mode but it's like they can't be ignored either clarify the king of wands it's hard to ignore this person either because how they come towards you or because it's just hard for you to, to ignore them i don't know who this is in particular but it could be a fire sign scorpio or a virgo clarify the hermit a lot of you are like, yeah, I kind of want to just chill in my little, in my little corner, in my little peace. I'm just, I'm good over here. I'm, I'm peaceful over here. I'm healing. I'm chilling. I don't want no love right now. <laughs> Clarify the tower. Yeah, I think this person comes in and not disturbs your peace, but they kind of come in and uh, interrupt it a little bit with decent intent, I believe. Clarify strength. And I feel like it's taking a lot of strength to maybe resist them. Clarify strength. Or a lot of courage and confidence to let them go after you. Up front or reverse. One more. Yeah, a lot of y'all are going to... Yeah, so there's someone coming toward you and you're trying not to fall for them. What is the king of wands? Someone taking a leap of faith towards you. This could be a fire sign. Clarify the fool. Ten of wands. For, I, I got the movie Oculus in my head. Some of you, this person could wear glasses. Or you do. Somebody wears glasses. 
and or likes horror movies <laughs> or WWE. Play for the fool. Someone may be a WWE fan, wears glasses, is a fire sign, and or um, likes horror movies. Horror movies or thriller movies, the night you want. Yeah, whoever this is, is someone who's taking a leap of faith towards you. Like, I see it's taking a lot in them to spin the block. I think this is someone spinning the block. And I think this is you not wanting any part of it. And it's taking everything in you to not reconnect with them. Clarify strength. Right. It's sick. It, yep. It's yeah. I see you being independent and saying strong and saying nope. I'm avoiding this new beginning or I'm avoiding this past person. I'm avoiding this and third. I don't want this past person is giving that. Um, I hate that. That's all that keeps coming up for y'all and y'all reads. But the, these people are still in y'all energy, so it keeps coming up. Um, why are they not falling in love with anyone this year? I admittedly heard because y'all are cold. Queen of Swords because you're not letting yourself. Queen of Swords for why you're not falling in love this year is because that's giving Icebox by Amarion. If you listen to Icebox by Amarion, that is the energy that you're going to embody the, for the rest of the year. You're not falling in love with anybody because you won't let you. You won't let yourself. Clarify the Queen of Swords. You also have standards. You also have a particular vision and like a strict guideline of how you want your relationship to kind of go. I don't see you having any kind of room for, I don't see you having any kind of flexibility when it comes to what you want, when it comes to love. It's like, I want to end all be your relationship or nothing, which is fair. I totally get that. Clarify Queen of Swords. I see you avoiding anything that even looks like it's not gonna be a 30 year marriage anniversary. Like it's, it's giving that. Clarify Queen of Swords. It's, it's kind of giving, okay, like, can we skip the talking Can we skip the talking stage? Can we just get married? Like, but realistically, on a realistic note, because the Queen of Swords is a realistic. Clarify Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're like, if you're not here to be in love and to be all mushy gushy and take me on and trips and, and, and vacations and, you know, to have kids and live happily ever after and things be solid and we never break up and we can have our 20 year wedding anniversary and 30 year wedding anniversaries and watch our kids, you know, get married and have kids. If it's not, if it's not giving, I don't want it. And y'all not falling in love with anybody because you have only that in mind. But at the same time, it's like, as you should, you know what I'm saying? You should feel that way. You should only want that. You should, you know, well, you shouldn't only want that, but you know what I mean? I'm trying to say, I get you. I get you. I understand why you have this mindset. Problem is, for whatever reason, that specifically is keeping you from falling in love. What could, uh, how do I put this? For that to come up as why you're not falling in love doesn't help, really. Because if that's keeping you from falling in love, then, ooh. What's their advice? What's Pisces' advice? For one, you have to get out the house for some of you because you're coming up as a hermit. I do get that. Um, take more trips, get out the house, get in your car and drive somewhere, get out. And you need to also leave something behind. Um, any kind of negative memories, um, clarify the chariot, any kind of negative memories or past pain that you went through. You need to let that go because I think that's hindering you. I think you wanting this King of Cups and Ten of Pentacles, this happily ever after kind of love. If you want that kind of love, if you want someone to, you know, be there for you and all this kind of stuff, you come off too cold right now for that. You that I think the, I think the Queen of Swords is trying to point out the coldness, the brisk of this Queen of Swords. I think you need to be a little warmer with this chariot. You can be in a way, but it starts with. You letting something go, okay? You're detaching yourself from people because you've been hurt before. Clarify chariot. And right now you feel like you need to be strong, but to get some, to get to know someone, you're gonna have to open up, and you have a, you're having a hard time doing that. You have a, you have you don't have a hard time being honest and, and truthful, but when it comes to open up emotionally, you're having a hard time doing that. Hence the Queen of Swords. Clarify the chariot. 
Yeah, you need to close out a chapter. The first thing you need to do is get over something that happened to you. It's gonna take time though. Don't don't hurt yourself <laughs> trying to uh, get over the pain. But there's something about you needing more optimism. You need more of a fight in you when it comes to love. You need more of a this is going to be mine kind of thing. You need you need more of a you know I can have this kind of love type of energy. But if you're detaching, you're showing the universe that that's not what you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, shit, what's I gonna say? Oh, what's your advice when it comes to King of Wands? Queen of Wands. Maybe you kind of be open to it. <laughs> Clarify the Queen of Wands. That doesn't mean be open to it. <laughs> Clarify Queen of Wands. It doesn't have to be, but it could be. Should they thank the person? No. Yeah, no. Keep your power. Keep your power. What you should do with them, keep the ball in your court. Um, shut things down. Shut, close this out. Whatever this is, this person come back in means, and then they're coming in confident too. Whatever that is, means be shut down. Shut it down for good. Clever Queen of Wands. If you, I know people are gonna be like, I did already. I did already. Clearly not because they're they're coming in. When I say they're coming in confident, they're coming in confident like like they they like they could get you. Okay, shut that down first and then worry about moving forward now i feel like you need to kind of set a boundary in a way in a very for my women in a very feminine way but in a this like a disdained kind of powerful like you are not going to get this moment out of your head you need to like there's something here about you need to kind of take your power back from this person to help you with the process uh, moving on with them when it comes to trying to have new love that is this part is gonna help you do this So closing out this chapter with this person is gonna help you um, Moving forward. Okay Clarify Queen of Wands The moon threw me off. Clarify the moon Right of Swords. I, was, I think that's saying don't trust what they say. I wouldn't trust what they say. There's hidden intentions behind what they say. Clarify the Emperor. It had the fears, had the overthinking, all this kind of stuff appear um, strong and powerful and like you're the one in charge because you are. The ball is going to be in your court when they approach you anyway. Know that, feel that, use it, okay? Uh, any kind of overthinking or anxiety or anything you feel on a negative low vibration, keep it to yourself, at least for right now, when you're setting this boundary with this person, okay? But anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, this person could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag, and Aquarius, Scorpio, Cancer, Geminis, Scorpio, Sag, Pisces, Virgo, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Cancer, Virgo, Aquarius, Taurus, Pipe, um, Leo. That's all I have for you guys today. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you later. Bye.